Hey guys, welcome to another 7 Taman video. We're going to do a quick guide for the One Hill Catacombs. We have not done an Elder Ring video and we feel like all the catacombs are like really, really underrated for people who want to make certain builds and stuff like that because a lot of the really good and unique items that are in the catacombs can be made with a whole bunch of builds. Um, that's for PvP, that is for PvE too. And um, this catacomb has just a couple items that um, people will be using in pvp for their build so i'm only going to talk when necessary it's going to be as quick as i can i'm going to get a whole bunch of items um make sure that you watch out for this trap door as soon this trap on the ground as soon as you walk in because it got me and i'm going to take half of hp because i have no shield running through this so i'm pretty much just um having to know where everything is at and run over it myself so i'll just commentate when necessary Okay, we are back commentating again. You want to go ahead and keep this big guy. He's like the only big thing up in this room in particular. Not even close. He didn't even get close to killing me. Um, I thought that was a plant, but it is not. You want to go up this ladder right here. And um, fun fact, if you speed run through this completely without killing him, he will chase you up that ladder. So be wary of that. He is very uh, keen on that. You need to watch out for the ugly thing on the roof. It will fall down. And um, you can see I have no HP already, not even close. Easy work. Um, they're not hard to kill at all. Make sure you got a stolen sword key. You got to use the stolen sword keys, guys. Um, they just reveal so much stuff. And a lot of times people just pass them up. But um, this is the only stolen sword court. A stone sword king you get the lightning scorpion charm that's the only uh, place that you need to use a stone sword key up in there there is there's not any more but there's a couple more um in like other dungeons and stuff like that and um whenever you find the scorpion charm it does raise your lightning attack but it's gonna lower your damage uh, negation so for lightning builds if you can think about anything that even has like lightning infinity that's what you're gonna be using um after i get that because obviously i did die and like i said this dude will follow you up this ladder um you're gonna continue on with the rest of the dungeon here Okay, so by the time you get to this part, you guys already know about the trap, you guys already know about that little thing. You do want to run straight toward this doorway and roll a couple times because you will not make it out of there alive. Could have got your souls, you just ignore him for the level. It's pretty simple stuff. He will end up killing me because he is very strong and I'm just trying to get this place over for you guys. And honestly, a lot of stuff is like that in Elden Ring. You just want to get what you got to get and then you want to just get out. Um, I do respawn and I'm going to make my way toward the actual boss and I'm going to show you guys the boss fight. Okay, so first thing I noticed is um, this is the Earth Tree Burial Watchdog, I want to say. Um, the first thing you're going to notice is it is the one of the cats from one of the first catacombs in the beginning of the game. So it's really not that difficult or anything, especially by this time in the game since it is so far up north. You should be a decent level to um, fight it. I don't have any shields or anything, so I did summon my Mimic Tier. The Mimic Tier helps me out so much. And um, pretty much in this fight, you know, I, I'm, I have a blood beat, um, a blood build, and I noticed like maybe halfway through that this stuff was not working like i was just like damn it's one of those bosses that you're probably gonna have to um use physical or just like blunt stuff with I i'm not even sure how it's like the magic is you can see that i tried to throw a couple of these it really just goes after your mimic tear be sure to use your ashes whenever you get the chance it tanks up so much damage guys and you can see here i just take out um, my blade you know, not even that most upgraded you gotta watch that tail attack and it's pretty simple guys you just kind of switch aggro with your mimic tier or with your ash or whoever it is hopefully that you did upgrade your uh ash and you just keep going back at it as soon as it turns towards you you let your ashes of war uh start taking some more aggro and then you go right back and then, um rinse and repeat the entire time i think he does give me with one of these attacks one of my times is all in it yeah that tail attack is strong they want to lose this so i did go ahead and heal up but after that you pretty much just you know, finish it off. So it's really not that hard. It gives you a decent amount of souls, not like the most or anything. I think it's 1200. You do get the Glaive with, um Picket Bell Bearing that you can bring back to the lady. And um, 
uh, actually it's the two ladies that's sitting um, beside each other at the round table they're gonna open up a different menu for you to uh, shop for the glade grove woods I think it is so you can start upgrading some of your ashes and stuff like that um now there is one more gate area that I do want to show you guys um it's gonna teleport you here um pretty much is outside of the catacombs which is awesome there is one gated area though that i am going to show you guys So just like normal, you guys already know the drill. You're gonna wanna run past that guy and you're gonna climb up this ladder. Um, there's a secret little area that if you don't know where to find it at, you'll never find this little item and it will help you out tremendously against dragons. You wanna run up to this platform. You wanna step on it just like it's a lever. And that's kinda how it is, just like it's a lever or anything, you just step on it and it goes up and there's a secret underground area right here. Um, you're gonna save yourself some HP by knowing that these huge crabs are gonna pop up on you. Um, pick up that and I'll show you guys what that does later. You don't have to kill these crabs if you don't want to. Um, they don't really drop anything besides like some of the crab um, meat and stuff like that. And so maybe the crab eyes. I like to um, kite them back a little bit. Um, run back forward toward that gate and get this last item. And in the corner over here to the right side of the room, you're gonna find a lever that is gonna open that door right there. The crabs are really wonky, they're not even that strong. And voila, you got the item. You got a shortcut just in case you did wanna maybe farm some of the crabs or farm any of those guys that was up in there. And um, yeah, that is how you get that cookbook. So that ancient cookbook is actually gonna be the ancient cookbook uh, three, I wanna say. But if you press square, whenever you go into your inventory, you can see that some of these you know you can see the recipes in there just in case like you don't want to go to your crafting menu to see like right here you got the lightning pod and the rope lightning pod um that's the one we just got the dragon wound wound grease which is going to help you tremendously toward dragons so like if you got like some big balls that you want to fight um maybe the dragons because the dragons are really strong in this game so getting that grease is going to help you out tremendously um it's just so much more easier to wound those dragons and stuff like that um in order to find those you want to go to your crafting um your item crafting and um up in here somewhere around here let's see um i don't think i have the ingredients completely but here it is right here it'll coat the ornament and help you with the anti-dragon effects so dragons are going to be so much more easier to fight i love you guys Stay tuned for the next Catacomb video in Elden Ring in general. Seventh Haven, Fila out.